Welcome. Um, what I have here this morning it is a uh, LED light. It's uh, like a 0.6 meter strip assembly uh, light. I use it in the bathroom, but it stopped working. Uh, There's a lot of small LEDs you can see here in the housing. Uh, but normally the first thing that goes is the electronics. I take it out. Uh, there is it. You can see this is normally what goes. Uh, doesn't work anymore normally stop working um what i want to do today what i think i need to do is to take this led convert it to a 12 volt light now what i did is already i undo you can see i you just take the strip out here you slide it out let's put this one side then i put take my power supply then i uh started with the positive uh, add a positive here and I switch it on here uh, and then you you just take a, a needle I normally take a needle uh, with my crocodile clip and then you start probing you can see here uh, uh, where it starts working if you probe around you see only one light is working or an, so the best is just to maybe lower the voltage just not to blow or damage leds and figure out how this thing is it is wired but you can't see because there's paint here there's a lot of paint over the tracks so but i figured it out and there's one two three four five six seven eight leds on 12 volt i just need to put a current limiting resistor in but at least it's like 1.5 volt over led then i go and cut all the tracks between those uh, after the eighth one then the, the second one so there's one two three four five six seven sets of eight leds i mark them down there and i'm just gonna clean the tracks and then i'm gonna wire them individually all uh, this in series but parallel together to make me a 12 volt light all right just take your knife and you're just scratching this stuff off here you can take a dremel tool and remove it with a dremel tool same thing just to take the tracks off because if you start wiring it's gonna short out the tracks see now it's nice and clean there and so you do all of them until all of them and then we start wiring you see i put some uh, double side tape here on the unit i can't slide it in anymore because of this uh, tracks that i cut it's going to short out in, uh, in the housing but this housing is looks like aluminium so uh, you just stick some this over here is to start with and then I'll do the wiring on top of it then afterwards I'll just put some silicone or glue and glue it in there uh, what I do now is to just take some solder and uh, the solder the, the points you start with the positive here just thin it and the negative on the other side Put the wirings there. Make sure if you've got a thin point solder, I um, just to do the soldering job. But now you can see I wired all of them, so like all the circuits, a negative, positive, a negative, positive for the wires like this, all parallel. And then there's just two end wires there. If you put the supply on. Um, 12 volt you see it goes so um, right out <clears throat> I put a like a 1 ohm resistor 2 watt resistor in line just for some current limiting and I test it on a 12 volt battery so there's enough light coming through here um, I'm just going to isolate it put it inside here and close it up okay now I just push this a thicker wire through the end here and I just push it in here 
solder they join it with uh, covered with string shrink sleeving and then just push this end cover then in and then you're gonna put the other side also in and then we're gonna put the lid on but at first we need to go quickly go put some silicone on here just to keep all everything intact Right, now I take silicone. Look here, you just put silicone here. There, there, and all the, all the solder joints. And just push it inside so that the PC board doesn't come out. And then you can just put the lid back. Put the lid on. You actually, we'll just wait till the silicone is dry. Otherwise, your silicone won't <coughs> cure properly. Let's put this lid back on. How's that? And there you, you have a nice <coughs> 12 volt LED light. Let's put the battery here. And let's put some supply here. You can see here. There's your emergency light, 12 volt, from a 220 volt uh, light that went faulty because of uh, the circuit that converts 220 volt to 36, 48 volt for the LEDs to work. Uh, now you've got a nice 12 volt. If you're a caravaner or a camper or uh, for emergency, uh, just a second life for your LED light. Uh, Till next time, cheers.